on a faithful supply. Abundant supply, not just supply, but abundant supply. I'm speaking on effective, abundant supply. Effective, abundant supply. Follow me to follow me to Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. I want to quickly read this as I proceed on preaching and teaching and prophetic utterances. If you watch that, you see the innumerable copy ministry angels of the Almighty God are now surrounding me on this global central pulpit. Hear me, what separate that ought to be uprooted in your life must be uprooted. Amen. Anything that has to be planted in your life must be planted. The reason is that we are different. The reason is that our case is different. The reason is that we are we are strangers in this world. We are we are heavenly, we are heavenly airlines. Others may be world worldly airlines. We are heavenly kingdom airlines. We have a special mission here on earth. We have a special mandate here on earth to carry out. We are sent to transform the entire world and do what? And, uh, and, and connect people back to Christ Jesus. It's our ministry. Our ministry is to do what? To, uh, to, uh, to electrify the whole world. Electrify every new cycle of our generation with the with the heavenly kingdom light of the almighty God as the light of the world. So I don't care to know the cause of the difficulty you are going through. All I am appealing with you, ministers of God, brothers and sisters, friends, is to connect with the faith and forget about what the anointing is going to do. Anointing of God is going to move in a tremendous way. It's going to tackle every difficulty, whether you are born with it or not. Amen. Hear me, I see a God, I find a God who does not fear anything and does not fear anybody, who created heavens and earth and waters and dry land, who have a solution to every situation and every matter. So I am I am declaring, I'm sharing the same time I'm sharing testimony. I am telling you a God who does what no man can do. He handles situations that no one can handle. Hear me, where people say there is a fall away, he he commands rise up. And so follow me to Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. Praise the name of the Lord. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And my God shall supply all you will need according to his riches in Christ Jesus. Yeah. And my God shall supply wherever you are today. Can you, wherever you are right now, can, can you reply with me? Can you can you declare with me? And my God shall supply all my need my according God. to his riches oh in glory oh by Christ Jesus. Look at the word, the declaration. All my need, oh not according to your power. You do not have a power, a sufficient power to do this. You do not have the anointing to do this. You are only going to connect to his anointing, to his grace. The grace that wipes away sins. The grace that wipes away sins and made a sinner wider than snow and turn a sinner to a righteous, a holy person and the, and the ascent. Do you know that anointing does this? Go and read your Bible very well. 5, 4, 5, 15, 6 to 2, 17 efficient. He said, he, he said, pray for one another. Confess your fault to one another. For the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man, hear it, a verse much. First John 5, 17. He said that this is the confidence we have that if we shall ask anything concerning, any, ask him concerning anything, he hears us. So, he had all, all this declaration had got to do with faith. The word is more solid and they fortify to give back to your need. All you need to do is to sacrificially 
build a faith without faith you cannot benefit from the if you if you give up on faith today you will you may still be alive but you will not you will not enjoy your life no matter the amount of money or anything you find as a good a gift or a blessing you will never be happy consistently because the fact that revokes the peace the, the, the victory and the peace of the Holy Spirit is not in you and the joy of the Holy Spirit is not finding you. It's an end back to my God. I'm speaking of a faith supply. Preaching to people about the Almighty God, how to live a principled, holy, holy righteous life if we cannot let the people know that why God wants them to be holy and righteous and keep his principle is for them to be blessed above their fellows, to be highly anointed above their fellows. We should reveal to people that the reason why God wants them to be holy as he is and to be righteous as he is, is for them to have access to what? Abundant, effective, consistent supply. Are we hearing me? God wants you to have access to effective, abundant supply. What? Anything you lack. Now, the force of the word of God and the force of the Holy Spirit is going to move in ultimate dimension to tackle every yoke, to break every body, whatever be a barrier. Any siege or seal that was made against supply in your life, in the church, in our ministries, in our mandate and family and generation is going to melt now. Amen. Hear me? It's going to melt because the word I speak unto you is bigger and stronger, more effective than anything you call a situation. But the word, hear me, whether you believe God or not works. But the work, the word, and the spirit of God works most effectively when you do what harness and exercise a living, walking, effective faith. So according to the power, according to the faith that works in you, according to the faith that works in you, hear me, hear me again. According to the this faith covers the laws. Of grace, the laws of anointing, the laws of the word of God, the laws of the Almighty God, the laws of worship, the laws of holiness and righteousness. All this, they have, you can't be holy without keeping a principle. You can't be righteous without keeping a principle. You cannot acquire knowledge without keeping a principle. Praise God. You cannot acquire gra a walking effective grace without keeping a principle. That's what I mean by a law. And so the Spirit of God is going to move in a usual manner now. It's going to move to arrest every situation in your life. Amen. Hear me. I want to openly give this revelation. Someone may say, are you telling us that hard time and famine and corruption will leave our, our, our country, our village, our, our family, our, our province, what I am telling you is that sometimes those who does not believe will benefit from the declaration and the release of this abundant supply. But the people that have this word are the people who believe. People that have faith. Hear me. This is the reason why the people who people will encounter the miracle of effective abundant supply. And the other people that are with them in the same series will continue to suffer at that time because of ignorance. Those who discover that their calling is from above, their help comes from above, there is anointing from above, there is a connection from above, there is a contact from above. Those who discover that they are here for a mission, they now operate under the heavenly kingdom coverage of action, anointing, grace, power, message to do what? To live a special, different life. Here, you can't be carrying Bible, going to church, 
portraying pastors or spiritual men and women up and down without operating on that dead spiritual works that are sharing with you. It's a time you begin to live a life of heaven here on earth. You, it's a time you begin to stop the mouth of the evil beast and lions here on earth. Hear me, whatever you bind on earth is bind in heaven, but to my God shall supply. What am I talking about? Are you weak? Are you confused? Are you going to church or you don't go to church, but you don't know God? You never discover that it is he who created you. You cannot operate your life very well. Hear me, if you don't discover your maker. It is your maker that will give you the manual. It is your, it is your maker that will give you the terminology. Hear me, the, the, the articles in which you will run your life very well. Any man or woman that manufactured the device is the only person that has the right and permission to give you the analysis and description and guide how to write, how to operate. The people that build iPhone, a phone called iPhone or Samsung today, are the people who write the manual, the guideline or how people make use of Samsung of, or iPhone. It is the Almighty God, hear me, that can. Almighty God is the only one that can give you the thorough, appropriate, perfect, effective manual in which you operate your life and become perfect and become effective and become blessed and become victorious and, be, and enjoy peace. He is a God of peace. Hear me. He is not the author of evil. Any evil that come across your family line, generation, country, God does not have hand in it. It comes as a result of sin, iniquity, transgression, and ignorance. Now, God is going to move in the life of those who believe. Those who refuse to believe may enjoy the dividends of this program, but we all continue to remain in difficult and in miserable life because they don't believe. Jesus Christ says that anyone who believes is saved already. 15, 16, 15. Of 16, 15, 16 of Mark, but those who does not believe is already condemned. He said that I condemned already. So I'm speaking on effective supply. Is this impossible? It is impossible. It, it is possible. Where it's not possible is where people refuse to believe that God is a healer. If you believe God is a healer, now what you, you do is apply the principle of a healer and the principle of healing and the principle of receiving healing. And you will receive healing. That's the law that guides the declaration, the prophecies, the prophetic utterances or the prophecies that 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 terminates that terminates poverty or hardship, economic hardship. There is economic hardship. Some people are going through spiritual hard time. What is spiritual hard time? Every week, every year, every year they declare God, but they don't know the God they follow. They don't know the God they serve. When they hear other people praising God, they start praising God, but they don't know the God that praising. Every year, this family, these people continue to go through spiritual work, hard time. Spiritual, they suffer spiritual difficulties. How do I mean? They are not living a spiritual abundant life. They lack the riches, the favor, the wealth of a spiritual life. Because they don't understand the author. They don't know the author. It is those that understand the author, the founder of spiritual life, that can enjoy it. So, henceforth, God wants to bring you out of every spiritual hard time, hardship and difficult and impossibility. How? All you need is to believe the word I share with you. But my God, the Almighty God, the God we understand in, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19 here, is the Almighty God, not 
small g God, almighty God, wherever you are, is there a conclusion analysis that you will never come out of that gathering? I am coming today or that prison or that situation which does not glorify God. But it came as a result of a situation, a, a situation, a sin, a nuclear transcription, an accusation or a problem. And you are facing it, you are going through the hard time. God has not made a declaration. As God will make declaration, you will come out of that prison. Hear me, you are going to be relieved from every spiritual hard time Amen. to begin to walk in a bond, spiritual abundance. Let me hear you say, I will begin to walk in a spiritual godly abundance. How do you walk in spiritual abundance? Let me go straight. Raise your hand and say, Oh God, give me the power to participate in this program. So that every power manipulating me, trying to discourage me from from participating in this program will be led to rest. Every power that is on assignment to mechanize difficulties, hard times, hardship in my life, over my life, my generation, my mandate, family, oh Lord my God, hear ye the word of God. Hear ye the word of God. God is against you. Whatever bind or it is bind you have with God, nothing shall be possible with me anymore. Therefore, keep away from me. Be all my sins, iniquities, and transgression, inherited and my flush it out. For your word says that if I believe, my sins will be forgiven. My Lord and my God, I call upon you. Give me the capacity to participate on this program and be turned to a man, a woman you made me, in Jesus Christ's name. My Lord and my God, help me to experience effective and abundant supply. Help me to experience effective and abundant supply. Which you are, which your word is, which your spirit is. For in you, there is no light. There is no ignorance in you. There is no darkness in you. There is no shortcoming in you. There is no reproach with you, O God. There is no hard time in your kingdom. Why would I go in hard time? Why would I spend my many days in hardship? Whereas there is no hardship in your kingdom. I beseech you, O Lord my God, pull me out of every mediocrity. Every mediocrity, I'm tired of, of operating under the average. I want to live above the average, above mediocrity. Let the cost be broken. Let every cost of limitation of your will, of limitation of barrier of your spirit in my life, spiritually, totally be broken. As the prophet says, as your word says, my Lord and my God, let me begin to experience the fullness of the power, of the riches, of the wisdom, of your word and your spirit, so that as for and we stop living a limited life, because I am not of this world, where there is a limitation, where there is a failure, where there is a hard, endless hard time, endless hardship. I am not of this world. I am of your kingdom. I am of your world. I am of your promise. Transform me. Transform me. Tra as the prophet says, transform me. As your word declares, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is the gospel of eternal life, is coming to me. My Lord and my God, help me to adopt that mind of Jesus Christ and desist from the mind of this world. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. We continue to wave your hands wherever you are. Said, I'm getting connected. I am getting connected. I am hearing it that when that which is perfect comes, that which is impact is done away. Do you see where I'm going to? Maybe your hard time is spiritual hard time or economic hard time. Or you're married and you always divorce. Or you're married, but that marriage is not fruitful. The marriage is suffering from hard time. Your marriage is suffering from hard time. There is no joy. There is no children in your marriage. That is hardship. No joy, no peace, no forgiveness or sin. No forgiveness. You and your partner, or you are always fighting and quarreling. 
That is a marriage that's suffering hard time. Your family, are, your family is like a desert. But all of you are Christians. Perhaps there are pastors in your family. But it's like a desert. It's like a desert. What it shows, what it means is that your family is going through hard time. Is going through hardship. The neighboring families may be blessed, but why is your family not blessed? But they're calling upon God. It's because of ignorance of the promise of God. Follow me to share the word of God. But to my God shall supply. Hallelujah. Amen. All the peace you needed. According to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus 14 27. John, my peace I give unto you. My peace I give unto you. My peace I give unto you. Amen. I fight for you and I give you peace. I fight for you and I give you peace where there is no peace. Not as the world gives, but I give unto you my peace. What he means is that he fights every category of battle for me and you. Every category of war for us. He fights it because peace comes after war, after battle, after fighting. Hallelujah. Amen. So he fought, he fought for us. And he grant us, he said, my peace I give unto you. So he is the only one that has the keys to everlasting original peace. Only peace that can last. The peace that can make you wealthy. It's only God. And so now he is breaking every yoke, every cause of a lack of peace in your life. A lack of confusion. He's not terminating, sorry, he's not breaking, terminating confusion in your life. He's not fighting your battles. He is not fighting your wars. The war that bent you to limitations, to hardship, to hard time. The battles that bent your life to begging and to limitation and frustration and poverty and hardship and shortcoming. God said, He will fight for you 14, 14 years ago. He said, He will fight for you. After fighting for you, what will He give to you? He grants you peace. He not open the grace of peace, He opens the grace of joy. Help us come see and not fight us that fight your life. Help us, help us, help us. Not men and women that will fight you, that will quarrel with you, that will make life difficult for you, but men and women that will make your life easy. Men and women that will always make you happy. Amen. Men and women that will always encourage you. He said he will fight for you. Is that not a provision of possibility? Is that not a provision of peace? A provision for working in possibilities of peace. I will fight for you and you will hold your peace. Is that not what he said? I will fight for you. So maybe your, your limitation, your impossibility and difficulty you are going through is that you can't win a battle. You always fail. You always fail. Now God said He will fight for you, and you will hold your peace. In terms of victory and winning and triumph and overcoming and recovery, do you know what I'm preaching? I'm speaking recovery over your life. Amen. I'm preaching recovery, recovery of joy, recovery of spiritual abundance, Amen. recovery abundant life, recovery of a material abundant life, recovery of a economic abundant life, recovery of a political abundant life, recovery of national abundance. Recovery of uh, societal abundance, recovery of marital abundance, recovery of financial abundance, financial abundance, financial abundance. So never again will your money run little. Money will stop running little into your hand. Money will start running flowing in abundance in your life. Because sometimes I have a large gateway of financial abundance. So as for the grace of money is going to open wide in your life.